Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome back to those of you who are new. Welcome back to those of you seasoned veterans of what we do around here. And uh, this is kind of what to do if you're dealing with toxic family related stuff. Um, and if you are dealing with toxic family, I, a, lot of, a lot of people deal with that, especially now in a world where family values and family cohesiveness have struggled for a very long time. Uh, and so if you're looking for help with that or anything like that, would love to be of assistance to you in a uh, consistent basis and connect with you in a good way. Hopefully this is helpful to you. The first, um, the first way to kind of reach out would be at PO Perception on Twitter and or in the About Me section of this YouTube page. Either one gets you in contact with me or a member of my team. We can make something happen from there. The first thing is, uh, if you're dealing with toxic family, it's important to have boundaries. Um, sometimes boundaries can be something as simple as the limit of time that you spend with the people. Sometimes a uh, boundary can be something as simple as the uh, a, amount of time that you are dealing with a certain situation. Other times, boundaries can literally mean having physical or uh, a length of time related distance between the frequency at which you spend time around certain individuals or with certain individuals. It's necessary to do that, especially if the situation is becoming increasingly toxic. And I will return in two shakes of a lamb's tail uh, to answer my phone. We'll be right back. And again, as we continue to move forward, it's, it's, there's a lot of things that when we look at the realities of relationships and, and the challenges they're in, um, not having to justify yourself in any decision you make to separate yourself out or put limitations on the relationship is another thing you can consider. Guilt is one of the things that people that are trying to control the relationship's trajectory will use continually in order to make you feel as though it's your responsibility to be there for them and or that it's your responsibility to do for them what they can't do for themselves or won't do for themselves. It's super important to consider the possibility that having a guilt-related relationship isn't going to serve you well at all and also also, the idea that the level of connection you have is based on guilt or, or the need to justify yourself or the need to ask permission to behave the way that you feel is best for you at any given moment is a reason to step out of the relationship. That is also, too, a healthy relationship is not one at which you will need to argue in order to maintain the connection. Now, you may disagree and argue a point here or there, but at the end of a conversation or at the end of a day or at the end of an experience, you'll be able to walk away and say, I heard them, they heard me. We either found resolution of agreement or we found resolution of the agreement to disagree peaceably. When you have to justify yourself or argue continually to maintain a relationship, what you're really maintaining is a controlled dynamic that won't sustain you in the long run anyway. Now, your ability to be able to see that, your ability to be able to deal with that, mm, it depends upon the person, whether you're able to deal with it, whether you're able to, to kind of work through it or not, or whether guilt is at the center of its, its trajectory permanently. There's nothing wrong with the feeling of wanting to resolve something, but if resolving it means losing yourself in the process of the connection, then that isn't going to serve you well at all. You've also got to begin to look for the reality that finding some level of personal support, whether that be through friendships, whether that be through coaching, counseling, uh, using your faith or other mechanisms of coping is, is something that you continue to do is also something to consider. Again, getting out of a toxic family situation does require a certain level of dedication and commitment because obviously the longer that you have relationships with a person, the more leverage they feel they're going to have in terms of controlling how you behave and the history that you have with a person will also indicate to you the level of connectivity and commitment that you have in making them or trying to make them happy. And so that also plays heavily into whether or not you should continue the connection. That is to say that if you feel the need to continually relate to, you know, ultimately being in a negative situation consistently, but you say, well, this is family and this is what family does for each other, it becomes extremely exceedingly unhealthy. But it's also something to begin to think about in terms of does this actually serve you well to continue in or are you continually and consistently um, in an unhealthy or, or unnatural situation? The realization that you may be in something that isn't going to change for the better and or 
realization that you are in a situation where people are manipulating you consistently is something that you must at least potentially consider in order to be able to understand how to move forward. Again, you're not a bad person if you need to have boundaries and knowing that within yourself, knowing, not questioning, but knowing deeply within yourself that you've done all you can to maintain things is also an important factor. So hopefully this is helpful. Keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Until next time, everybody.